Hey everyone, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot, back from having COVID. Uh, let's get into your daily messages, you guys. If you want to get a personal reading from me, uh, just click the link in the description box below this video, moonpietarot.com, where you can book your readings for September. All right, you guys, this is a daily collective love reading, so let's see what the messages are starting here for you. Okay, we're starting off with some conflict or some competition. For, well, it's a daily reading, but it's to go also from the time you're listening to it into September. <clears throat> okay, so some conflicts, some competition, some rivalry, some obstacles, and some challenges are showing up here. Okay, um, possibly in regards to a King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, now, that could be you. That could be somebody you're connecting with. Um now, this is someone who generally has very deep, they're very emotional type of a person, male or female energy, um, but paired with the five of wands, I'm feeling like some emotional conflict. Um, the king of cups doesn't really express their emotions. They don't wear their heart on their sleeve. They keep everything secretive and deep within. Um, but I'm, I'm picking up some emotional conflict with the king of cups. Okay, let's see what else is going on here. Jeez, okay. <laughs> um, and the Five of Swords. So uh, this King of Cups is surrounded by fives. And the five represents unmanageability and uncertainty and difficulty. So the Five of Swords can be verbal abuse. It can be harsh words. It can be someone who is just a nasty mouth. Um, and there's a, a, there's a lot of conflict surrounding this King of Cups uh, and trouble. There's trouble brewing is what I feel. Give me a second here. Okay. So for some of you, this could be a lover. This could be a, a, a spouse. This could be a parent. This could be a sibling, a co-worker. This could be a friend, okay? But I don't, I don't like this energy at all. The way this is starting out, I feel like there's... Let me get into the rest of this reading because I want to see what the heck is going on, okay? All right, so this King of Cups is trying to have some kind of a new beginning here and is not taking no for an answer. This King of Cups is has some kind of an idea or it wants to do something or wants you to do something. And if you say no to this, I just feel like there's some nastiness going on here from this person. Um, they're they're going to cause problems. They have some kind of new idea, something they feel that they want to do that it's the right thing to do it's their idea and they're going to fight you on this to make this happen so that this this is something that they want okay so the five of swords energy it can be just sharp words um things that get said i'm feeling a lot of anger and frustration with this king of cups because they're trying to have something for themselves, something that they want. And rather than, I don't understand who this person is. I don't understand why this person wouldn't just open up and have a normal conversation about something. There's emotional manipulation and there's emotional conflict attached to this person trying to get their way with something, trying to have this new beginning or this new start. Okay with you or this new um like it feels like they get some kind of like a bee in their bonnet about something and it must be done their way and that's the way it's got to be okay crazy this is crazy oh my goodness so got the tower you guys <laughs> this feels more like a warning than a reading i mean this person this king cups is intent on destroying they have an idea or something there's a lot of upheaval 
connected to this King of Cups. A lot of upheaval and trouble. I don't I don't like it too much. I think this is something that you need to be aware of, whoever you are, whatever sign you are. Um, chaos. If they can't have their way, okay, then chaos. All right. Um, and they don't really care what the fallout will be. They don't care how things are going to turn out, what the fallout will be. They have their plans, their ideas, what they want to do, how things should be. And they're indifferent. If it does, if everything falls apart in your life or things don't go very well, they're completely apathetic and indifferent to your feelings, your emotions, your troubles. Because for them, it's them first. That's what the ace is. It's a first card. It's a one. It's what they want. That's what's most important. This feels, you know, we're kind of hoping for some Skittles and rainbows in these readings. Okay. All right. We've got the world. Here we go again with the ace of swords. So it feels to me like this person, hmm. This person, will, once things fall apart, or if, if you don't give them what they want, if you don't meet that need, if you, if you don't fall for the blackmail or go for whatever it is that they feel they have, they have to have, um, and everything falls apart, they will not, like I said, care. They will not try to, it's just like, it's, they'll just say, oh, whatever, oh, like if you scratch and scream and cry and hiss and moan that you, if you, if you fight back with this person and it causes you stress and anxiety, they will just say, well, that's, that's your problem, not mine. A very selfish, it's a very selfish energy from this person. They may not say that's your problem, but they may just kind of like become indifferent and, you know, come in and cause all this chaos to get what they want. And then when everything falls apart, then they just act like it wasn't their fault or nothing happened and it's all you. And then they leave. And why is this Ace of Swords here? They start over again. I feel like this person is not, it's like, it's, I'm seeing like a um, bulldozer in my mind like this person is extremely intent on having what they want having things their way okay so you have palm tree stability security permanence growth endurance flexibility and keys on a ring many options decisions string along one night stand oh my goodness so and coffin endings bring new beginnings growth change okay so i feel like this person there's some type of an attachment to a palm tree um or something stable or stability i feel like this person is very insecure and they don't want you to remove yourself from any kind of situation or a connection that you have with them they're very manipulative they may have the keys to a house or something um, they may try to kick you out of a house or try to come into your home very unconventional behavior they make their own mind there's power and authority connected to this uh, King Cups there's emotional manipulation and verbal and maybe even physical for some that coffin is telling you I feel like you got to this is kind of like, I don't like doing these readings, you guys, because when they come out, it's like, what the heck? But man, to start off a reading with the Five of Swords and the Five of Wands, this coffin card is, you got to get out of where you are. That's what I feel like you have to do, because you are being manipulated, or will be. There's someone in your life who causes a lot of conflict, and they do it on purpose because they get a rise out of it. And then they move away or they, they back out after all this destruction. It's almost like this person, 
gets excited about their ability to have power over you, okay? Or they sat, derive some satisfaction over their ability to have power over you. And then, you know, everything ends and then it starts up again. So there's somewhat like of a cycle. Everything ends and then they start having conversation or they start talking to you and trying to get truth or trying to get some clarity or trying to figure out where you are and if you're back up on your feet again and as soon as you're back up on your feet again or you take your power back and you do something and you say no then they come back in and they try to pick your brain so that the cycle can just start all over again okay because this person does there just there's a possessiveness this person does not want you to um, change, grow, transition out of wherever you are in your life. There's this person kind of has like their thumb, like tries to keep you under their thumb. Wow. I feel Virgo. Um, why did I say Virgo? Because of my other channel, whatever sign you are, maybe you're a Virgo. I feel like there's a really important message here for some of you. And for those of you who are a water sign, watch out for your own patterns and cycles that you do not keep um, doing this to yourself, okay? Where you start something and you feel like you want something and you push people away in order, or push people aside in order to get it, and then you self-sabotage and destroy it and then start this pattern over again and rebuild, right? So it's not that it's it's that why would you create something to destroy it why would you cultivate something only then to destroy it unless you have that pluto um energy with the scorpio which would be something that they would do is create cultivate something and then destroy it rebuild it again the reason why i mean for scorpios that can cause a sense of uh growth for them but it's that's a different story. We're not going to get into that, <laughs> but just be careful that uh, what is the purpose for you to build and cultivate things that you're just going to destroy at the end, right? Unless you're, do, you know, creating dominoes <laughs> and you like uh, the destruction, you like to watch things fall apart. You know, um, if you're getting off on that and there's some kind of satisfaction from that, eh, I think there's a little bit of a thing going on there. Okay. New moon in Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. So I feel like your affirmation here during this time or what you need to pay attention to is you need to believe that this situation is not going to last. You're going to get out of this somehow, some way. You have to get away from this person. You have to get away from this person. They're destructive, whoever you are dealing with. They're absolutely destructive. Okay. If you're able to get away from them, do it. If you're not able to get away from them, find a way to distance yourself as best you can. All right, you guys, that's going to be your reading. All right, take care.